Greetings from Toronto. How are you today? I'm very good. Thank you. Good, good to see you. Um, okay, I got to ask you right off the bat here. You get the script for The Last Sentinel, and you're like, you better like water or else you're not going to take this job, right? Well, I... Um... I grew up in East Germany, and I was uh, I was um, I was uh, in the swimming team. I I grew up with uh, swimming twenty kilometers a day, so I was I was actually East German champion in fifteen hundred freestyle freestyle. I did not know that. Wow, amazing! Yes, I am I am at home in in water, so I like water. So it was all good when you saw this one, and I I got this was a really uh, compelling story. Very interesting, you know, set not too far in the future, the, the effects of climate change, the whole thing. And you've got these, you know, four soldiers on this base, like in the middle of the water, really nothing else around. Um, go nuts. Like, do you think you could handle something like that? Would I be able to handle something like that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a good question. Um, never thought about that. Um, could I, would I, um, I guess so. Um, but what for is the question, right? Um, True. we are, you know, I, I'm having kids. I have three kids. Yeah. They're grown up already. And, um, and if I look around, I'm, you see me in, in Los Angeles, right? We, it's the first day we have no rain. Yeah. It, clouds though. I see the for, clouds. Yeah. yeah. It's been rain for, 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 uh, three months. I know. So, Basically, so it's very good for the for the for the land, but uh, not normal. Nothing is normal anymore, and it goes so quickly um, that it's mind blowing. And uh, yeah, I am. I I I like this movie because it's it's it pretty much points out where we're heading at. Yeah. You know, absolutely, very scary on that front. Um, and and you know, I want to talk about the, your character Hendrix because here he's the guy. He's he's in charge, you know, and he's got these other younger soldiers kind of around him. You, you guys have clearly been on on this base for a long time. Yes. People are starting to lose it, like no question about it. Um, and I'm looking at your character, and I'm like, is he a badass or is he just kind of losing it after a while? What was your perspective on him? Uh, I saw him as a washed up warrior yeah he, um um he um yeah as a washer warrior who um who who um i say it also in the film at a certain point who fucked up and uh and um it was his thought uh, because of him uh his um his crew died or his bat battalion his uh, his army guy um yeah um therefore he he's on a mission he uh he dedicated his life after that to um to to the mission he's he's there and the mission is to uh to um to keep the balance of the planet if you if you can't even call it a planet anymore there are yeah. two continents left uh they are uh pretty tiny um um and still humanity uh managed to uh uh to fuck also up that last bit of what they have you know mm -hmm. uh so the whole film is in in a, in a in a way i always saw it as a as a as a microcosmos of the world we live in you know um there's a there's a great quote uh i like uh, uh kate bosworth uh, says it's i i yeah she said uh if to unfuck the world uh, we have uh, uh, the only way to unfuck the world uh, is to wipe out humanity. Yeah, and a little I scary. Really, I don't want to get too dark, but um, <laughs> I know uh, I uh, I can I can see um, where we're heading at, and uh, and this is uh, not so far off, you know, from yeah. reality. Pretty scary. How'd you like working with Kate Bosworth? You know, she's been around for a while. She did a good job uh, up against you, you gentlemen. Yes, uh, liked her, I liked her a lot. I knew her already. I did a film with her uh, that time husband, Michael Polish. Yeah. Uh, um, and um, yeah, it was only four actors for her, like to 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 be with uh, three guys. Um, not so easy, but it's. Um, 
I, I thought it very um different parts for her to play, you know, and uh and and we had a fantastic director. I so love this 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 guy, Tanner Toom. He yeah. is brilliant. He is uh he's smart, he is um so yeah, innovative. It's a, yeah. it's a beautiful director, you know. So he managed to uh to um to um make us look better as actors as we really are, I thought. Oh, you well, you all did a great job. And you know, listen, if I was stuck on a base like that with uh Lucy and Levis Count, I, I'd be like, no problem. I'm I, well, I'm good. no, yeah, yeah, for good reason. <laughs> they met him her lover <laughs> and not me <laughs> you, but you know you know his Emily in Paris like yeah I, I like yeah. seeing him in a role like this it, it was it was good um Thomas I gotta ask you I mean you've been in so many things I mean most recently you worked with our Toronto guy uh Brandon Cronenberg on Infinity Pool um you know you you've made some amazing choices over the years what is it at this point now when you get a script what do you look for what's important to you uh, I look for good scripts. <laughs> I hope they keep coming. Um, it's, it's to me, you know, it's uh, usually where I come from, Germany and theater and, uh, and I think it's everywhere like yeah. that. Uh, they always ask us like, what, what would be your, uh, your, your perfect, uh, what would be the role you want to play in your life, you know? And, and uh, in the old days, it was then uh, Hamlet or uh, or Macbeth or you know stuff like that. Um, and to me, this doesn't exist. It's uh, you get a script, you like it or you don't, you know. And um, and it's very simple, you know. After a couple of pages already, if um, if um, if if it grabs you, if you can see it, you know, you have a vision right away, you know. And um, um, this was a really solid, uh, well, uh, well, uh, thought out script, you know. Yeah. But yeah. more, uh, more importantly, I really, really like this director, you know. And I met him before I read the script already, and uh, I almost would uh, would do the telephone book with him. So, oh, um, listen, yeah, no, it, it was very innovative, very, very clever, and really, really, really well done. Um, and then coming up, we are going to see you in the much anticipated Indiana Jones 5. I mean, how exciting was that to work on that? And what a cast. I mean, I, okay, of course, Harrison Ford, but, you know, Phoebe Waller-Bridge and Mads Mikkelsen, I mean, and you, oh my God, I cannot wait. You must have had yeah. a blast. Yeah, I can't wait either. I haven't seen the movie yet. Okay. Um, yeah, shooting was fun. It took a long time. And, uh, and, um, yeah, I mean, what a treat to uh to to do a film with Harrison Ford, no? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you need to check out his new series, Shrinking, if you have not seen I, that. I'm watching. I'm Isn't watching. Isn't he amazing it. in that? I mean, he blew he, he blows me away in this in this show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's you know what it was Harrison Ford. It's it's um the first. I mean, first of all, he's like super fucking cute and nice, you know. So um, I was uh. Like, like, very, like, it's, 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 it's here. You know, you know, it's like you can. I don't yeah. know how to how to explain this. It's uh, uh, yeah, very cute and nice. I love and, it. Uh, but the first scene we had, um, he was sitting and I was standing, and I was standing in front of him, and I and and he felt so much bigger than than I, and and I thought, this is why he is a movie that movie star, that caliber of a movie star. He has this, uh, yeah, I felt small in front of it. So I, I needed to adjust my mindset. You know, it's, um, it's, uh, yeah, it's uh, the, 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 the presence and the, um, um, you have Harrison Ford in front of you, you know, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. I, no, I, I've interviewed him and, he, and he's lovely. And I have to say, but people are nervous, but he, see, he doesn't see himself in that way. And that, that's what I think makes it more appealing. Yes, exactly. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's amazing. Okay, so what else do you have coming up that we need to know about? Um, well, Infinity Pools out, as you mentioned. Uh, yes. Then, uh, then there's another film called Kill the Child. Uh, I did in, as well in Estonia. For some reason, it's uh, it's uh, <laughs> everyone's shooting over there right now, which is coming out later this year. Magnolia, I think, is doing it. Okay. Uh, and. Uh, and 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 that's it what um um gran turismo as well 
So one, two, three, four, five films this year. It's okay. Just, yeah, just a few little films. Well, listen, we want to get you back here in Toronto. So, you know, you're always welcome to come back here. That's for sure. And, uh, I've been there only once shooting. Yeah. Uh, that was uh, already like almost 20 years ago was Resident Evil 2. Yes, it was. I remember that. And then I, I, I know like Infinity Pool was not shot here. I just, you know, it was yeah. Croatia, I think, correct? Something like that? Um, Which one? Infinity Pool? Infinity Pool was in uh, in Budapest and Bud and I yeah. I Budapest, but I had the, I had the pleasure to have uh, uh, Brendan Cronenberg at my place in Berlin um, while uh, during the Berlin Film Festival. Yeah, I love this man. He's he's amazing. Oh, he's yeah, he's yeah. amazing, and uh, he he's learned from the best. I mean, his father. I mean, come on, right? A legend. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, listen, it's my pleasure to talk to you today. You did really a good job in this film, Last Sentinel. I was like on the edge of my seat, like, where is this going? It was really, really good. Um, and thank you. And I can't wait to see you in Indiana Jones. I'm very, very excited for that. So thank you for your time today. Right. Thank you. Okay, Bye. have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.